Today we're doing Lesson 29 from the workbook of Course in Miracles. Lesson 29. God is in everything I see. God is in everything I see. The idea for today explains why you can see all purpose in everything. It explains why nothing is separate by itself or in itself. And it explains why nothing you see means anything. In fact, it explains every idea we have used thus far and all subsequent ones as well. Today's idea is the whole basis for vision. You will probably find this idea very difficult to grasp at this point. You may find it silly, irreverent, senseless, funny, and even objectionable. Certainly God is not in a table, for example, as you see it. Yet, we emphasized yesterday that a table shares the purpose of the universe. And what shares the purpose of the universe shares the purpose of its creator. Try then today to begin to learn how to look on all things with love, appreciation, and open-mindedness. You do not see them now. Would you know what is in them? Nothing is as it appears to you. Its holy purpose stands beyond your little range. When vision has shown you the holiness that lights up the world, you will understand today's idea perfectly. And you will not understand how you could ever have found it difficult. <laughs> Our six two-minute practice periods for today should follow a now familiar pattern. Begin with repeating the idea to yourself, and then apply it to randomly chosen subjects about you, naming each one specifically. Try to avoid the tendency towards self-directed selection, which may be particularly tempting in connection with today's idea because of its wholly alien nature. Remember that any order you impose is equally alien to reality. Your list of subjects should therefore be as free of self-selection as possible. For example, a suitable list might include God is in this coat hanger. God is in this magazine. God is in this finger. God is in this lamp. God is in this body. God is in that door. God is in that wastebasket. In addition to the assigned practice periods, repeat the idea for today at least once an hour, looking slowly about you as you say the words unhurriedly to yourself. At least once or twice, you should experience a sense of restfulness as you do this. That's lesson 29. God is in everything I see. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, just go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.